So today we're going to look at another important problem associated with handling horses. Gemma, what are we going to do? So today we're going to look at horses that are aversive to worming or oral medication. Right. One of the common things that goes wrong with people is rather than keeping it in contact um, further up, they come at this sort of angle. And if you just go and try and throw the syringe into the horse's mouth, you can see you very quickly make the horse more and more phobic and every time they release the contact with the syringe they're practicing that behavior and they're becoming more fearful yeah so it's them managing to get away from the syringe that is causing the problems yeah absolutely right so you're going to focus on the syringe being removed by you rather than the syringe being removed by the horse yep so the syringe is going to go away when the horse is nice and calm and relaxed right horses learn through release of pressure so what she learned just there was as soon as the syringe touched her lips, she throws her head back and she can release the, the pressure of the syringe. So she's going to repeat that behavior again in the future. What I want her to learn is that if I put the syringe on her somewhere and she stands still, the syringe goes away again. Right. Of course, what I'm not going to do is put the syringe on her lips because it's too hard to keep it in contact if she throws her head up. So each time we're going to put the syringe on the horse's head and then remove it. And you'll notice I've started up higher up her cheek so that if she does move her head, I can still keep it in contact. And this is a process called shaping. So shaping is where you think about the desired outcome, then you think about the most basic response and you fill in all the little gaps in between. So each time I just put it somewhere a little bit closer to her lips and put a little bit of pressure on. If she lifts her head up, keep it as soon as she brings her head down again, I take that pressure away again. So you're really trying to avoid that situation where she escapes from the syringe and you, she removes it rather than you removing it. Absolutely. Every time she escapes from the syringe, she's going to practice that behaviour and she's also become more adrenalised. So then horses can't learn when they're adrenalised and they're more likely to hurt people. Yeah, it's worth saying this horse, we've been unable to give her oral medication beforehand. We haven't practised this. This is the first time Gemma's done this with her. And you can see now... She's getting much more confident at having it put in and I can even put it in her mouth and she's nice and calm for it. And that was just, again, a few minutes, a few repetitions, breaking it down into simple steps. Yeah. I think this is really important with a horse because horses will need worming during their lifetime. And one of the most key things as vets is that if we have a horse that's very difficult to inject, to be able to get in sedative by mouth is a really worthwhile and important thing. Yeah, and I think that's really useful for horse owners to understand that sedation is a really good thing for horses. You know, when we're going out to treat them as vets, it has pain killing properties um, and it makes everything safer and it makes it less stressful for the horse. So for some horses, actually giving them some sedation by mouth before the vet arrives can make everything safer and less stressful. Yeah, for everyone. we certainly do that with some of our, client, uh, our clients' horses that really don't like vets. They have some sedative ready beforehand. If they are impossible to give by mouth, then we've got no where to go. So it seems to me that this is something that owners should be practicing with their horses beforehand rather than just when they need to worm the horse. Absolutely, as with everything you do with horses. And what can be really useful is to practice with some apple juice or molasses in a syringe right. and your horse will get to the stage where they love having any sort of syringe put in their mouth. It seems to me like you're quite confident most horses you'll manage to give oral medication to with practice. Yep, definitely. I think the, the key things is starting off somewhere easy, so higher up on the cheek so they don't get scared and then releasing the syringe so the pressure at the right time when they're stood nice and calm rather than when they're throwing their head in the air. Brilliant. Thanks very much. I think that's been a really useful take-home message and I hope it's been useful to you. Thank you.